once again, uh, having said that, uh, we will then go straight into the, uh, the various uh, presentations and the various uh, products. Uh, <clears throat> this is how the score is going to be made. Uh, and the score is going to be based on, already the judges have looked at your written presentation, meaning that they already uh, have an idea of what your project looked like. The, the written presentation uh, amounts to 15 points. So I will, uh, as they've looked at your work and they've already decided what to give you based on what they read. Uh, the, the PowerPoint presentations for today uh, will have an introduction of five marks. The content will have uh, 15 points. Uh, the, whether you address the topic or not will get a 10 point. Creativity and innovation will have uh, 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 15 points. Uh, the presentation style will also have 10 points. Uh, if you stick to time allotted to you, because each cohort will have 10 minutes to do presentation, uh, that will also have 10 minutes. The recommendation will have 10 minutes, and whether or not you have a conclusion, uh, which will also be 10 minutes, uh, sorry, 10 points. So in total, uh, the score from uh, each judge will be uh, tallied to, uh, how do you call it, a 100% score. And so, at the end of the day, we will put all the scores from the judges together, and then we will be in a good position to know uh, which team won for the day. Uh, and so the, the presentation order is going to be according to, because of the fairness, we believe that fairness must uh, permeate in everything that we do. And so the cohorts actually voted uh, among themselves who should present a first and who should present uh afterwards and so uh the the conclusion was that uh the one with the majority of votes uh will be the one to and everything is ready and all the protocol have been observed uh at this point in time i want to go straight uh, a very interesting group uh that is the only group all male group uh and and that will be uh team uh, to everyone, it's been a pleasure listening to all the presentation and um, this class has been very, very uh, rewarding to each and every member of our team. Um, this is cohort focus, our team focus, and the project we had to tackle was, um, the question was having participated in the ESLM 2022, consider your group as consultants, how will you evaluate the program and what practical and strategic steps to improve the program to attract future students. My name is Reverend Clarence Roberts and I will be presenting for Cohort Focus. Through this presentation, we'll be looking at different areas. Uh, we'll introduce you to our team members. We have an introduction slide. We have our objectives. We look at our SWOT analysis. We do an evaluation and then we give our recommendation and conclusion. These are team, like Dr. Abi said, the all male team. Uh, we will have a, a, a point we'll talk about it. I'm wonderful gentlemen from all around the world and I'm so grateful to have worked with each and every one of them. So as part of our introduction as consultants, we will begin with this, the Jacobs Abbey Global Institute for Leadership Studies. It aims to influence the mindset of people to achieve goals in leadership. Another um, part of our introduction as well is the inspiring and unique executive leadership program equips you with cutting edge leadership style to apply strategic decision making and improve employee retention while empowering you to become most prominent team leader. We also notice as consultants coming in that the class is a flagship program exclusively tailored for business leaders, entrepreneurs, diplomats, non-governmental organizations, community-based organizations, and executives seeking to advance their talents and build skills that strategically address business challenges head on. The course content is delivered over 10 weeks. The course also features several video uploads, exercises, in which you will be presented with scenarios and asked to video record yourself reacting to various leadership challenges. So the objectives we have, one, to help communicate the vision that truly motivates people in and around the leader. 
leaders have a clear vision of what they intend to do. Two, to teach the techniques and skills to influence, persuade people and lead effectively and efficiently to build continued relationships and increase global access to knowledge. Another objective we saw as consultants coming in looking at um, this Jacobs Abbey Institute was to provide leaders with the necessary knowledge on various levels of employees' career development. And finally, to build a good and formidable team capable of delivering the vision which leadership teamwork and effective communication skills brings about in the global workplace. In order to do this, we implore SWOT analysis. We believe that the program has both audience and catchment areas. All facilitators of the Jacobs Abbey Global Institute are highly skilled and qualified with a wide range of knowledge in their various fields. In-depth explanation and relatable examples make application of what is taught easy. The program is designed with open forum like WhatsApp discussion platform, which helps students express themselves and apply what has been taught. The weaknesses we saw through what uh, our evaluation is, there seems to be an overloaded curriculum can discourage students. There should be download option for all the videos posted on YouTube channel so that those with poor internet connection, since this is a global institute, can download and watch once the network become available. Um, the course from the onset seem tedious and demanding for workers and the elderly. The duration of the program can be extended to reduce the pressure it can create. Some of the opportunities we saw was the flexibility and content of the course, the range of global coverage, the institute still attracts sponsors, the institute area of focus has a global vacuum. And some of the threats we did notice was sustainability of the program in case donors and sponsor pull out. We can see that right now, most of us did not have to come out of pocket to pay for this current class we are taking. The timing is a threat factor. Some busy people might not complete the program significantly when it affects one's work. Some people might just remain anonymous and not follow the program properly since it's a webinar. In order to get out the all that I just presented, we created some questions that we sent out to a lot of people and we got about 29 respondents. So these are some of the questions for sake of time. I will not go through all of them, but you can review them later. And these were the evaluation we got back based on what we discovered. So summary of the questions that we sent out from the findings, it seems the program positively affected the respondents as it helped enlighten the respondents on leadership and communication skills and open a pathway to self-discovery. However, the management we are uh, from our question we saw, management should review the use of Zoom to include other mediums that will accommodate everyone. And our recommendation one, we believe there should be an orientation where students will be welcome to the online course environment, showing more light on how the course will be run in a way that encourages them and shows them that you care about the success before the actual day of commencement. Another recommendation we had is gender balance, and doctor alluded to it. Our team was mainly men, so we hope that next time you will try to include uh, some brilliant women to help us out as well. Creating an office hour is one of our recommendations to help improve the, the course. I set up certain times for office hours so students can come to you with questions and engage with you through the semesters, bringing on both teaching assistants and encouraging them to organize office hours and to reach out to students in the course. Another recommendation we have is providing source of materials as reference, open and educational resource and other forms of easily accessible media can aid and provide a broader perspective, textbooks, journals, articles, multimedia. Those are all things that we recommend. Our fifth recommendation is expansion of this program. We recommend that the program go beyond online to in-person lectures. And six, make it a point to encourage your students to ask questions. Use discussion forums to solicit questions from your students and other forms of interactive sessions could be encouraged. 
So what are our conclusions? Through tailor leadership and development strategies and solutions, global learning experience and programs, workshops, symposium, training modalities, powerful assessment tools, and executive coaching services, we can align Jagger's expertise to meet demand. All programs and courses of this institute are designed to build the confidence and capacity of leaders to understand, analyze, and intervene in multiple situations. The faculty and mentorship provided innovative and diverse research, welcoming lectures, and extreme collaborative idea sharing. We also feel that from the recommendation of past students who are beneficiaries of different programs from the Institute have testified by the benefits of completing this program, we too have started reaping the rewards and fruits of these. Finally, we encourage all who want to build their capacity in the various spheres of life to visit the Institute website and enroll once it has been redesigned by what our, one of our other group just said. So we call upon people from all walks of life, captains of industries, religious leaders, politicians, male and female, young and old, to enroll in this. We want to now play a video presentation. And I'll come after that. To lead an organization effectively, you need to inspire and motivate individuals you do not have direct contact with every day. You're no longer the salesperson, the marketer, or the finance person. You're actually the orchestrator of the whole thing. As you advance in your career and start leading a division, department, or organization, you must adapt your leadership style. You need to know how to communicate purpose and vision so that your organization feels empowered to execute that vision outperform the competition, and prepare for the future. Executive Strategic Leadership Masterclass aims to influence the mindset of people to achieve their goals in leadership. It is an online course that equips experienced team leaders with the skills, strategies, and tools to guide their organizations effectively. This Masterclass program is developed and taught by the Jacobs Abbey Global Institute for Leadership Studies and is designed for existing leaders and fresh in the arena leaders aimed at filling the gaps in strategic leadership as growing, developing, and equipping leaders to have self-value that translates to value. As a leader, I am a collaborator and a mentor to different people. I need to delegate tasks and responsibilities to different people to showcase their God-given gifts and talents. Also, I was reminded I am a custodian of the temporal and spiritual goods of the church. I should be prepared to be accountable to my congregation and I will be held responsible and accountable in the daily running of the affairs of the church. Then, through the study so far, I've incorporated what I've learned to become a better communicator and a leader in my company and to my employees. Um, I'm incorporating all of these strategies I've learned over this past couple of weeks to help make my company more successful. You'll have the opportunity to grapple with the distinct challenges they face, leading large dispersed organizations. Ultimately, you're responsible for the tempo of how things get done, and you've got to make sure that you're not too far ahead of everyone you lose them. Through self-assessment, peer feedback, and projects you apply to your own work, you'll come away from this course with a clear understanding of your leadership style and how to prepare for the next phase of your leadership journey. We hope you join us in organizational leadership hosted by Jacobs Abbey Global Institute for Leadership Studies.
we just want to express our deepest gratitude to all the staff, especially Dr. Samuel J. Kosave for this opportunity to help us all improve who we are as leaders and to affect our generation. Thank you, and we'll wait for questions and answers. Wow, wow. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a, a very powerful. Thank God I am not a judge and I'm only observing uh, because I don't know how to have awarded <laughs> food. But wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Great.